We Passionists, and especially Father Richard and myself, wish to thank you for journeying uh, with us this Lent during these daily scripture reflections. Holy Thursday, however, is not a time for much preaching. It's a time for much praying. It's a time to immerse ourselves in mystery, as the words of St. Thomas Aquinas, the lyrics of Pange Lingua, gently cascade over us during the Eucharistic procession, faith alone may safely guide us where the senses cannot lead. So we immerse ourselves in this mystery, our minds and our imaginations, our hearts and our senses into real presence, to see and to listen, finally to touch and to taste, to savor a unique presence of our loving God. At the Holy Thursday Mass of the Lord's Supper, we gather around the altar and celebrate an ancient and timeless ritual. There is created in the room a, a kind of union between God and ourselves so intense, so intimate, that it can be seen and felt and even tasted. Acting with us, the priest picks up a piece of bread, a cup of wine, and repeats the words that Jesus used when he celebrated the Passover with his apostles for the very first time. In our coming together, an unthinkable act of divine power takes place. It's too simple, really. The appearance of God in the midst of God's people should be more dramatic, we feel. There should be an explosion, a, a bolt of lightning, perhaps, or dramatic lighting, or a bombastic music, something spectacular, theatrical. Certainly, the disciples expected more. But tonight's liturgy is a revolution. Two events, number one, the master washing the feet of his disciples, and then the sharing of a kingdom meal where all are welcome, all are equal, is exchanged. For some, it was too foolish. They left. Judas hoped for more and left angrily, bitterly. Maybe when they celebrated the Passover with Christ, they waited to see what he would do as a kind of climax to finally proclaim his divinity. They must have been remembering the miracles of that first Passover, the plagues on Egypt, the parting of the Red Sea, the victories of Moses over the armies of Pharaoh. Surely Jesus would choose something more spectacular. Instead, Jesus expresses his longing and craving to be present with them, to show them his love. He agonizes over the problem. He had to go and he wanted to stay. If I don't go away, Jesus said, the Holy Spirit will never come to you. And yet he wanted to stay with us. Never had he loved his own as intensely as at that hour. How intensely have I desired to eat this Passover supper with you, we hear in Luke 22. Two loves in conflict, which would yield. That unique Holy Thursday, Jesus cut through the problem with a solution that still shocks our world today. Neither would have to yield. He will go and he will stay. He will leave us and he will remain and abide with us. May we be that Eucharist now, God's real presence in our bruised and broken world, the body of Christ, amen.